So you want to go live from your mobile device to YouTube and you don't have a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel, I can tell you how it can be done right now here on Brand On Broadcasting. Hey gang, I'm Ross Brand from LivestreamUniverse.com. We're continuing our videos on different ways to go live from your mobile device to YouTube Live, particularly for channels that have under a thousand subscribers. We're going to talk about a hardware encoder you can use to send your video from your mobile phone to YouTube Live. We're focused on how to get from your mobile phone to YouTube Live if you don't have a thousand subscribers and the Live View Solo is a great option. In fact, it's also a great option for anybody who live streams regardless of your channel because it bonds together multiple cell connections, as you can see here, uh, along with uh, Wi-Fi to give you a very strong stream uh, that will allow you to go live from uh, places where your bandwidth might not be very good. It'll allow you to go live from hotels, conferences, also uh, remote areas. Really, we're talking about mobile live streaming uh, as far as going live from your mobile phone. But in this case, really think of it as remote live streaming, field live streaming, live streaming when you're outside of your studio environment, when you don't necessarily have a computer with you. So what you're doing is you're using your mobile phone as a camera, but this device here is your streaming and encoding uh, device that you're using to get on to YouTube Live. And so any any uh, wire that has an HDMI connection that you run from your phone into this, uh, or you could run it from a camcorder, uh, an action camera, or even a DSLR, uh, really allows you to have a strong stream and go live in HD video, again, to YouTube, regardless of how many subscribers you have, because, in fact, you're not going live through YouTube's mobile native mobile app, you're going live uh, from an encoder, which is within the rules of YouTube, regardless of how many subscribers you have. And you'll be amazed by the quality you get when you use a hardware encoder, particularly one that bonds together multiple cell connections so that you stay live even in the most bandwidth challenged environments. I've used the Live View Solo to go live from uh, Vid Summit, to go live from uh, NAB New York and other other locations where uh, definitely getting a, a strong cell connection wasn't very easy or a strong uh, Wi-Fi connection wasn't easy either. Uh, and of course, you've seen people do videos using the Live View Solo from natural disasters and any places where uh, even TV can't get a, a truck into, you can use the Live View Solo uh, to stream that video back to a, a broadcast location. So that wraps up this quick look at the Live View Solo. Again, uh, it's another way to stream from your mobile phone to YouTube Live without using uh, the YouTube native mobile app. And so you can bypass the requirement for a thousand subscribers to stream from the mobile app by using an encoder. Uh, you, we recommend Live View Solo. We also recommend Switcher Studio, Wirecast Go. Those two are, are mobile apps. And of course, if you're interested in uh, multi-destination live streaming, you can use any of those options and stream to a platform such as Switchboard Live, and then that will distribute your, uh, your stream to not only YouTube Live, but to many other platforms as well. I'm Ross Brand from LivestreamUniverse.com. Hope this helps and enjoy that mobile live streaming, that remote live streaming, and have a great day. Take care, everyone.